there, welcome to episode 7 of Tick Tick Boom! This is the show where I geek about movies and I geek out about geek! In fact, so much so, I created geekbomb.net. Hey, my name's Maud Garrett. I'm Alicia Malone from Malone's MovieMinute.com. Tick Tick Boom is all about selecting a topic that you suggested or that we chose and exploring it in the both movie and game world. Yeah, so this week we chose one because I'm really excited about Guardians of the Galaxy. The new trailer looks awesome. And it looks really, really funny. And I love this. I mean, yes, we see a lot of Marvel, especially comics at the moment, but this Mm -hmm. one's fun because not only is it on a global galactical scale, I should say, (laughs) um, but it's also a bunch of misfits and down and outers, but they're banding together because they are the only ones that can save the universe. And this is really interesting because we see this trope time and time again in movies and in video games, the ragtag bunch of misfits. You know, they might not be the most qualified or the most lovable professional uh, yeah but sometimes they're our only hope so Morty can you think of some examples from the video game world can I because they're my favorite games to play I've got a great example from the franchise Mass Effect which is exploring sci-fi and Dragon Age which sees the fantasy side of things Mm. both games done by Bioware so the similarities are you play the main protagonist and your story is kind of set, I mean, apart from gender. You're either a spectre and you have to save the universe or you're a warden and you must save the lands. And during your adventures, you get to find people that want to help you out in your quest and they offer different things. Now the classes, Alicia, they're different classes. Races, that's fun too. You've got aliens and you've got elves. Uh, but it's it's the class systems that you have to focus on because you need okay. a good balance. Uh, but yeah, you get to choose the ultimate team. Jump onto geekbomb.net because I'm going to tell you who my ultimate teams were in both of those games. Yeah, well, I love movies that have this ragtag bunch, especially when they have to save the world or when they play a very specific part in history. So mm-hmm. an example I can think of is The Dirty Dozen, which stars Charles Bronson, and it's about a group of murderers who are okay. trained to be assassins to kill some German soldiers in World War II. I have to see that. One that you have seen, I know, is The Hobbit. Yay! And the dwarves could be counted like this. You know, Absolutely. Not all of them are skilled at fighting. But they all step up and band together for the challenge. Have honour and determination and mead in a cop. <laughs> Another one that's a great example is Quentin Tarantino's Inglorious Bastards. Mm-hmm. And also, I would say, uh, George Clooney's Monuments Men, although they're mainly saving art and not the world. But it is an important part of history. So can you think of any other examples in film or video games? Leave a comment below because we love to hear from you guys. A lot of the misfits that we kind of had a look at as well were the underdogs. And that's a big part of the trope as well. So, I mean, yeah. what's your favourite with those? Could be the sports movies, could be the heist movies as well. And video games, talk to me because I will talk back. This has been Tick Tick Boom. Boom. Like and subscribe.